Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. Firstly, if you haven't already, make sure to check out Moomoo. Moo. Right now you can earn an 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash by using my link in the description below. Terms and conditions do apply. You could also earn up to 15 free stocks right now. So go ahead and check out Moomoo. Moo. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Also, make sure to check out the Discord, completely free to join. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Now let's get right into today's video. So, Robinhood Legend is finally available for me. And I would like to cover it at a high level today. I will most likely make more in-depth videos on specific features on Robinhood Legend. But again, today I just wanna cover it at a high level and show you guys what you can do on this new platform. So what is Robinhood Legend? Robinhood Legend is a new desktop platform that offers real-time data, customizable chart and advanced analysis as you'll see here in a little bit. So let's get right into this video. So if you do have access to Robinhood Legend, what you'll notice is that when you're on the classic Robinhood platform like I am right now, you should see a button here at the top, right in the middle that says Robinhood Legend. So all we need to do here is click on this button and this will take us over to the Robinhood Legend platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it's gonna navigate us to the Robinhood Legend platform here. So I'm gonna cover a couple of things here. Firstly, if you want to expand or collapse this window here, there is a button for this. Now, since I'm already, I've already expanded uh, the window here on Chrome, it's already expanded, so it's not gonna do anything if I click on it. But again, if you wanna you know, do full screen or not, you can uh, manage that here. Now, the next thing here is, if you wanna switch between your account types, there is a button that allows you to do this. So that button is right here. So if I click on it, I have two different accounts on Robinhood. I have my individual account. I have my traditional IRA account. So this is where you can uh, switch between your accounts on Robinhood. Next thing on here. So you'll notice here uh, if you have a picture, if you've uploaded a picture on Robinhood or not, here you will see that and you can click on it here. And this will show you a couple of different things. So it'll show you uh, your account summary, right? So again, I'm on the traditional IRA account right now, and you can see how much I have, my buying power, my cash, day trade count, all those things. You can deposit funds here, uh, your trading P&L. And then at the bottom, you'll see some uh, settings and a couple of other things like, you know, reports and statements, options, trading, Robinhood Gold. So that's what that button is there for. And now we're gonna get into the fun stuff here. So on Robinhood Legend, we can create our own layout here, right? So basically we'll add widgets to a layout here. Uh, basically we can add whatever is most important to us and the widgets are right here. Or you can also select from an already existing layout. And so to do that, there's this plus button here. You would click on it and notice here, you're gonna see something that says start from template. So here there's gonna be multiple templates you can select. If you don't wanna create your own layout, you just kinda of wanna get right into it. Maybe one of these aligns with your personal needs. Uh, but let's start with creating our own layout here first. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to add widgets and there's a couple of different widgets here. So I'm gonna add all of them here to our layout and show you guys what this looks like. So the first thing we have here is the watch list layout. So pretty straightforward. This is gonna be a watch list that you can add, you know, your stocks that you wanna watch. And so here I've already created one before this demo. So I called this Robinhood watch list, 
But you can add a, you know, another watch list here and name it whatever you want. You can delete the watch list here as well. You can add symbols to your watch list, right? Let's say I wanted to add, I'll add Tesla since the first stock it showed up here on their most popular. So I can add Tesla to my watch list here, right? So this is gonna be a watch list section right here. Now the next widget on here is charts, right? So one thing I think a lot of people like about this new trading platform is the advanced charts section. So I'm gonna go ahead and add charts to this uh, layout here. And we'll come back to this here in a little bit, but this is what it would look like. And then I'm gonna add the next widget here, which is gonna be recent orders. So again, very straightforward. Any orders you recently placed, they're gonna show up here. So as you can see here, open orders will appear here as well as closed orders from the last 24 hours. So now let's add the next widget here, positions. So it's gonna show any open positions that you have. Now, again, I'm on my traditional IRA account, so it's gonna show positions related to that. So remember with my traditional IRA, I had used that one-time customizable portfolio that Robin had recommended. And so these are the stocks or ETFs that are in my portfolio right now. And so this is where you can see your positions, right? The symbol, how many shares, the market value, uh, we have uh, a couple of other things here, right? So that's where you can see your positions. Next widget here is of course the options chain, right? So here is where you can come to trade options. And again, very self-explanatory, uh, but again, I'm not gonna go too in depth here. I'll make different videos covering kind of some of these more advanced features here in detail. Uh, but that's where you would go to trade your options. And then finally, we have account summary, right? So if you wanna add that, you can. That's just gonna be a summary of your account. Again, since we're on the traditional IRA account I have, that's what you're gonna see here. And you can see all the you know sum uh, basic summary of the account here. So a couple of things I wanna mention here. Firstly, right, when it comes to the watch list here, what's really nice about this is that Let's say you have a stock you're watching on your watch list and you know something happens where you want to get into that trade right away on one of the stocks that's on your watch list. Well, if you hover over the stock, you can quickly do that. Because once you hover over it, you get this trade button here. So if you click on this, you can quickly get into that particular stock, right? You can buy the stock, you can sell the stock, whatever it is you want to do here. So that's kind of neat. Also, if you want to remove one of these stocks from your watch list, you can also hover it, click on this ellipsis, and you can remove the stock if you want, right? So that's one thing about the watch list section there. Uh, another thing, when it comes to the positions widget here, again, you can hover over any position you have here. And again, you're gonna see a button where you can close the position. So if you wanna close it very quickly, this is very useful, right? You can just hover over any position, click on close, and you can sell. You can also switch over to buy if you wanna buy more. Uh, let's see what else they have here. Or you can increase your position here, right? So this is gonna be the buy portion of this widget here. Now, another thing here is when it comes to the charts, right, which again, I think is one of the main things people are excited about here, how do we switch what stock is showing on the chart? Right now we're showing Amazon. What if we wanna show Robinhood, for example? So you can just click here where you see the current ticker symbol, you click on it. Here's where you can switch what ticker symbol you wanna view a chart for. So again, if you wanted to view a chart for Robinhood, we'd enter the ticker symbol H-O-O-D, and now we see Robinhood here, we would click on it. And so now we're gonna get a chart for Robinhood here. And what's nice is that the options uh, widget here also changes automatically, right? So if you're up here trying to find a trade, you know, right away you can come down here and see the options for that same stock potentially enter a trade if that's what you're looking to do. So this also gets changed. And same thing here, right? With the options chain widget, you can also modify this here. Maybe I wanna look at Apple. I can go ahead and click on Apple. And so now we're looking at the options chain for Apple. 
and our chart also switched over to Apple. So that could be very useful. One last thing I want to point out here, maybe you want to hide your account summary. There is a button to do that right here that says hide data. So you can click on that and that'll hide your data from the account summary if you wish to do so. So that was us creating a custom layout. Now, now after you've created this custom layout, you can go ahead and name it. So if you right click, you can edit the name here and say, you know, whatever name you want to give it. So I'll just say my first layout, for example. Also notice when you uh, right click, you can also duplicate the layout if you wish to. Now let's look at some of the pre-made layouts, some of the templates that already exist. Let's say we wanted to start from a template. Again, we can do that here. So maybe you're more interested in advanced options. So here, notice what this says, we can trade on a larger chain and view more metrics. Maybe that's what you're more interested in. So maybe this template is for you, right? And so we can click on it and notice we didn't have to do any customization. Everything just shows up for us here. And again, this is supposed to be more for those who want advanced options. Maybe though, maybe we want something different. Maybe we're more interested on uh, maybe a watch list tracker, right? We want to track the trends on our watch list across four different charts. Well, you can click on this one. It's going to be added here. And so now we have one that's more so geared towards our watch list. And again, what's nice too here is you can switch between these different layouts, right? So maybe you want to go back to advanced options. We can do that very quickly here. Maybe we want to go back to the layout we first customized. So we can go back to that here very quickly. So I'm very excited uh, about this platform and very excited to see how this uh, kind of evolves over the coming months, coming years. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord, link to that in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time.